Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today we are going to start the second lesson of acids and bases. Based on properties of acids, let's begin our lesson. Okay guys, the objectives of today's lesson is In this lesson, you people will be able to describe the characteristics properties of acids in reactions with metals, bases and carbonates. And the another objective is you people will be able to describe the uses of acids. So basically the properties of acids and uses of acids, we are going to target these two objectives in this lesson. So if we will consider the physical properties of acids. So the taste of acids is sour. And acids turn moist blue litmus paper red. Acids are corrosive in nature. And corrosive mean burning action. It can burn skin. It can burn different materials. It can burn the clothes. So it the burning action is basically is called as corrosive. After physical properties of acids, the most important properties of acids are the chemical properties in order to understand these chemical properties we must know what basically reactivity series reactivity series is basically depends upon the reactivity of metals so in order to their reactivity metals are aligned in this reactivity series so most reactive metals are at the top of the series, then moderate reactive metals, then least reactive metals are till silver. So there is little way through which you can memorize this reactivity series. Like Kamal never calls me at zoo, full public has come. To say hi, assalamu alaikum. These are the metals of uh, reactivity series of metals which you people have to learn this uh, order of reactivity. And in further studies, you have to memorize it. You have to keep this thing in this thing in your mind that which metals is highly reactive, which metal is moderate, and which metal is least. Actually, when we are going to consider the first property of acid, metals plus acid, salt plus hydrogen gas. If we will say metals plus acid, the question arises that all metals can react with acids. No, the most reactive metals are highly explosive in nature. So we cannot handle these metals in laboratories because they are explosive and sign for this is like this. So they are explosive. We cannot use these metals in the laboratory while we are going to react these metals with acids. Whereas moderate metals react with the acid but little exp exceptional case with lead and somehow aluminium reacts with acid but because of the presence of oxide layer on aluminium it is not going to react with uh, dilute acids so acids can react acids contain hydrogen ions without hydrogen ions acids are not acids so in solution when hydrogen ions are present so above all of the metals can easily react with dilute hcl or dilute sulfuric acid so now we are going to see how these reactions can take place metals if we are going to have metal magnesium plus h2so4 what actually will we have this magnesium will take the position of hydrogen and it will displace this hydrogen and will become magnesium sulfate. 
and the gas will be produced that is hydrogen so magnesium metal will react with dilute sulfuric acid to produce a salt that is called as magnesium sulfate and hydrogen gas will be produced if we want to have a look on again on this reactivity series so the safely we can do the experiment with dilute acids with these metals and m is magnesium aluminium zinc and iron so if you will remember the word mazi so mazi are those metals which safely react with dilute acids in lab so if we see this diagram if we are going to add label this diagram as magnesium metal if we say this is a magnesium and here we have sulfuric acid then fumes of gases or bubbles of gases will be evolved and that bubbles of gases will be checked with the burning splint with the burning splint and in observation we will observe the pop sound which is the identification test for hydrogen gas so when we add magnesium ribbon in the sulfuric acid a gas will be evolved which will be test with the burning splint and pop sound will be produced so we will say the gas which is produced is the hydrogen gas so pop sound is produced because of the presence of hydrogen gas so here this is the hydrogen gas which we have uh, which we have tested here so magnesium reacts with sulfuric acid to produce salt and hydrogen gas so we can have another examples and we can draw another examples you can see we can write some more examples metals plus acids like we can have we have taken magnesium we can take zinc we can take iron so if we are going to have zinc plus hcl a salt will be formed zinc chloride and hydrogen gas so this is the way through which metal reacts with acid to produce salt and hydrogen gas again i'm repeating not all the metals react with the acid safely only mazi and magnesium aluminium zinc iron are going to react safely if there is no oxide layer present in aluminium then it can react with dilute acid otherwise not whereas an exceptional case with lead if we have lead piece of lead in the sulfuric acid if we will label it sulfuric acid first it seems to react with lead but after some time reaction will stop because a layer of lead sulfide will be formed which is insoluble salt and no further reaction will take place so lead is not going to be react with the sulfuric acid because lead forms insoluble salts and it is very near to hydrogen so it cannot displace it cannot displace hydrogen from the acid if we see the reaction of zinc zinc is going to displace this hydrogen and form this salt and produce hydrogen gas now we are going to have a look on the next equation that is metal plus metal carbonate
it will react together to form salt water plus carbon dioxide gas so now we are going to do this equation now we are going to have the calcium carbonate and acid is HCl now this metal will displace this hydrogen from the acid and will form a salt that is called as calcium chloride and with this carbon dioxide gas will produce and water will be formed water plus carbon dioxide gas will be produced so any other example like sodium carbonate plus HCl so metal will displace hydrogen from the acid to form a salt that is NaCl plus H2O plus CO2 so these are the reaction if we see in this diagram the same if we consider this is calcium carbonate plus HCl if we will label this as a calcium carbonate and this one is acid or HCl Bubbles of gas will be evolved and this gas if test with the lime water so it will turn lime water milky. Lime water milky or white precipitates will be formed. Then this is the identification of carbon dioxide gas. So here by Observing this test, when lime water turns milky, we will say carbon dioxide gas is confirmed. So, after doing this experiment, we will be able to know that carbon dioxide gas will be produced after this reaction. Next two reactions are with metal oxides and metal hydroxides. If we say metal oxides, CuO and metal hydroxides NaOH is going to react with sulfuric acid with hydrochloric acid then salt will produce along with water and again this sodium will take the position of this H and NaCl salt will be produced with water. The reaction in which acids react with base. Acids react with base or alkali or alkali salt and water will produce salt and water will produce it means that this is the neutralization and the reaction in which acid and alkali or base reacts are called as neutralization reaction Neutralization takes place when acids react with base or alkali. Neutralization takes place. So these are the four chemical properties of acids. And now we are going to discuss 
the uses of acids yes acids are used in making fertilizers detergents making fertilizers they are used in making detergents they are used in making explosives and then as an electrolyte in as an electrolyte in car batteries and the weak acids can be used as weak acids can be used in food flavoring and preservatives food flavoring and as preservatives and to somehow it can be used to remove rust remove rust and in some purification of petroleum so the uses of acids are acids are used in making fertilizers in making detergents in making explosives in car batteries as an electrolyte in car batteries used weak acids used to in flavoring foods and as a preservatives and to some used as the to remove uh, rusting from the metals so these are the uses of acids and today we are going to have a look on our objectives either we have uh, completed our task in this lesson okay now we have learned the properties of acids and the reaction of uh, acids with metals with bases and with carbonates and we have discussed the uses of acids as well I hope so. You learned a lot in this lesson. Do the practice of these equations. Then you people will be able to get good grades. Practice and consistency is the key of success. So stay blessed. Stay tuned. Signing off. Miss Aisha Manzoor.